keep our friend busy. I'm going to sniff around. Not that I don't appreciate the company, but why the heck are you just standing there? Oh, um, I was just admiring the brickwork. The brickwork? Sure. When was this building built? 1950s? I got no idea. Low-rise bonding? Very typical of the era. Whatever. Aha! There's our guy. His name is George Austin, according to this note. Looks like he lived on the Upper West Side. Pretty cold to be just standing around. Isn't that what you're doing? I'm a cop in front of a cop station. What's your excuse? I'm, um, waiting for a cab. On a night like this? Might take a while. Maybe. Just a cop manning the front desk? A water cooler in case the scorching hot weather gets too much for you. This thing with you standing around? getting kind of weird. I told you, I'm waiting for a cab. The subway's just two blocks that way. The stairs are icy? <sighs> Fair enough. Don't know what surprises me more, that they make cops smoke outside or that the cops stand for it. This is some lobby. Careful you don't break anything, we'll be in Hawk for life. Well, your life anyway, not mine. Hi. Yes, miss? I'm looking for George Austin. Is he in? No, he's not. Sorry. Is there any way I can look inside George's apartment? It's really important. Sorry. Unless you've been authorized, I can't let you in. Do you know where George Austin is? I really couldn't say. Sorry. Can you tell me anything about George? I really couldn't, sorry. If you want to know him, you should ask him yourself. Jesus, Red, wipe your feet or something. It says, Holiday Clothing Drive. It's cold this winter. Please leave your old clothes in the box below for people less fortunate than you. It's signed by George Austin. Hi. Yes, miss? I, uh, heard that George Austin was having a clothing drive here. Oh, yes. George does it every year. He brings the box to Grace himself. You said that George takes the clothes to Grace. Yes, he does. He has an attachment to the place, even though we've got a fine church in this area. Church? So by Grace, you meant Grace Church? Yeah, the one downtown. What did you think I meant? Nothing. Never mind. Thanks. Sure. Whatever Joey did, the doorman doesn't seem to have noticed. Um, dropped my pen. Huh, a church. Of all the places. Really? Ghosts don't like churches? Being a ghost has nothing to do with it. Joey. What is it this time? It's funny. There are hundreds of stories about haunted churches, and here I am actually bringing a ghost to a church. Great. I'm a floating cliché. He looks pretty deep in thought. Hi. Could I talk to you for a minute? Please keep your voice down. Oh, um, sorry. Is this better? Yes. What can I do for you? 
I'm Rosangela Blackwell. Father Gabriel Ullman. Why the whispers? There isn't anybody around. That makes no difference. The tranquility of this place must be maintained, whether anybody is here or not, especially on a night like tonight. It's pretty quiet here tonight. God's house remains open despite the weather. If anybody needs us, we are here. Do you know a man named George Austin? I'm afraid not. He was a member of this church. Are you sure? It is quite a large church, as you can see. I'm afraid I am not familiar with George Austin. Could you tell me about this church? Are you looking to join? Um, not really. I'm afraid now is not the time for a history lesson. George Austin was holding a clothing drive that brought clothes to this church. Are you sure you haven't heard of him? Miss, we deal with hundreds of clothing drives at this time of year. Some we arrange ourselves, while most are volunteers. It is not possible to keep track of every single one. Well, thanks. I'll be going. Stay safe. This is not a night to be outside. He looks edgy. I don't think he likes being here. This book is full of prayers written by the church's congregation. They're all anonymous and they're all written by hand. These prayers just go on and on. There must be dozens of them. I don't have time to read them all. With this sample of George's handwriting, I might be able to find something written by him. Gotcha. Detective? Uh-huh. Can we talk inside? It's freezing out here. Can't smoke inside, thanks to our friend the mayor. So you couldn't maybe, I don't know, not smoke for a while? Right. Does the name Leah mean anything to you? Leah who? I'm not sure. Well then. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. Hi. Yes, miss? Did George know anyone named Leah? Leah? You mean the police officer? Police officer? Yeah. Haven't seen her around for a while, though. Did they break up or something? I have no idea. Too bad, if so. I liked her. She was good for George. You said Leah was good for George. Could you tell me why? Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have said any of that. You're not a cop or anything yourself, are you? Well... No, you're not. You would have shown me your badge if you were. Forget it. Sorry. Detective? Uh-huh. So... George Austin was involved with a police officer named Leah. <sighs> That's it, isn't it? All the secrecy. It's because the police are involved. You want to get us both in trouble? Of course not. I want to help you. Look what I discovered already. Look, 
I keep my distance from you for a reason. I know you got your sources. I don't know who they are, but you have a way. That goes without saying. Leah Piero was, is, a fine detective. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Maybe you can help, maybe you can't. But I know you're gonna stick your nose in no matter what I say. Sorry, but I have to. Yeah, I get that. I can't stop you, but I can't help you either. You're on your own. Believe me, Detective. If there's anything I'm not, it's on my own. Well, just be careful. Well, see you around. Uh-huh. It says Piero. Huh, this must be Leah Piero's desk. Hmm, cute kid. Hey. I don't know where you're going, and I ain't gonna ask. Just don't step on any toes, okay? We cops can get pretty touchy when it concerns one of our own. Yeah, so do I. What did you mean by that? Exactly what it sounded like. Whoever George was, he was one of us. Us? Yeah. Come on, it's a long way to Astoria. So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. Locked. There's a letter in here. It was wet and stuck to the side of the mailbox, but I got it. This letter is soaking wet. It's practically falling apart in my hands. Hey, Joey? Yeah? It's hard to believe a house like this costs as much as my tiny room in the city. Thinking of moving? God, no. Hello? Anything? Seems quiet so far. Let me look around. Painting of some old guy looking out a window. Don't know if it's art or not, but it's okay. There's only one key on the key rack. The label on it says Emil. Seems to be in good shape. Looks to be some drawing of a little girl. One of the many variations of phone. Hello? Yeah? Is anybody there? Who are you? Mister? Are you looking for my mom? Uh, I... Yes. Is she around? Uh-huh. I have to practice. Sorry. Damn it. An old fuse box. Just an empty shelf. Just a poster for some old junk car. A kid's bike with a crumpled front wheel. A Christmas tree. Plastic, naturally. Just a bedroom, pretty sparsely furnished. Nothing useful in here. KK the Troll. Cute. Excuse me. Oh, 
Hi, I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. What about your dad? Is he around? No. He's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. You said you go to the abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. No. Not this time. Not with her. Besides, it's not like that line ever works anyway. Okay, Kendra, I gotta go. But I'll be around to check on you, okay? Check on me? Why? Is something wrong? No, no, I just... Well, you're not alone here. You might not know what that means yet, but you're not. Okay. I'm gonna practice now. Sure. It's a stuffed panda. She's Pandona the Giant. Her home planet is the Globe Ball, but she's too big to go back. So she stays here. Some kind of stuffed octopus. His name is Cute Thulu. That bear looks like it's been sat on more than played with. It's his fault if he doesn't get out of the way. Cute, but uh, I don't know the first thing about dollhouses. That's okay. Neither do I. None of my dolls fit in there anyway. Looks to be some drawing of a little girl. It's a self-portrait. Joey, you all right? Yeah, sure, whatever. We got a spook. Is it Leah Piero? No, it's her daughter, a little girl. I see. How old? Ten, maybe eleven. And she's okay? You mean, besides being dead? Yeah, she's playing the piano. Well. Yeah, well. So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? This is just a bunch of junk. I think those are noise-canceling headphones. I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. There's a new model already? Figures. Some celebrity is being interviewed on a late-night talk show. I have no idea who either of them are. I guess I've been a bit out of touch lately. Looks like a controller for a game console. Not sure which one. I'm not much of a video game player. I don't think they'd appreciate me taking it. Tempting, but I don't need them. The tag on, the tag on his shirt says Jordan. Hi there. Hi, can I help you? I'm looking for the manager. Emil Haskins, I think his name is. Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. I'm surprised you're open with the weather this bad. Yeah, me too. But I only live two blocks away, and I could use the overtime. Thanks. Sure. Union Square. Those don't look terribly warm. Union Square. It hasn't changed much in the last 50 years or so. Looks like the hunk of plastic that Red carries around. 
Young guy. Looks pretty bored. Can't say I blame him. Uh, some kind of neck brace? I have no idea what that thing is. Must I... A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. Some kind of animation is playing. I think Red calls this a screen saver. Whatever it is, I'm glad I don't have a stomach anymore. The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best guess, it's the key to her house. Huh, whatever I did, it worked. I don't know much about these moose things, but I've seen Red use them often enough. It says, call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. What a surprise, nothing happens. I don't think it's the kind Hey, Joey? You rang? I love the look of these old brownstones. Really? These were old even in my day. I never understood the appeal. They're solid, I guess. Secure. People like that in a home. It's comforting. Comforting. Really? You feel this way, too? Kind of. We see death all the time, Joey. Isn't it nice to see something that lasts? Eh, not really. All it does is remind me of how old I actually am. Joey, I'm already freezing. Do you have to make me depressed as well? You're the one who brought it up. Here he is, Emil Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. Rosangela Blackwell, was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No, of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. How well did you know George Austin? Leah's the one who knew him. They'd been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. What did she say? Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced, and he turns up, wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. And I'm living in this shoebox. Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. What did you do when Leah disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days. Even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work, and I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. 
but I just stood by and took the abuse. Just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah. Sure. See ya. Hey, wait. Why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? I have my reasons. I just can't tell you what they are. Yeah, I get that impression. But whatever your reasons, you can help Kendra, right? Yes. It's what I do. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. <sighs> it never gets easier. Emil is in here, lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. I should just leave him alone. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. Leah's a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. I guess that's the date the picture was taken? Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. A phone, I think. It's hard to tell these days. That thing needs a date with a needle and thread. Or a fireplace. Joey, get out here. What? Got a sec? What is it? Poor Emil. Kendra is dead and he has no idea. Don't tell him. Not yet. He won't believe you and we might still need his help. I wonder if there's anything inside Emil's apartment that can help us. Can't hurt to look around. Locked, of course. Hi again. Mm hmm. Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um, did he give you permission to go in there? Yes, yes, he did. Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. Thanks. Sure. According to the label, this should get me into Leah Piero's house. I will use the mouse when I need to. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Joey, get in here. What? I have a question, Joey. You rang? Nice job getting that computer to work. I'm impressed. Impressed? All I did was blow on a hunk of plastic. Even still, you used a computer. You'll be tweeting next. Huh? I don't even want to know what you mean by that. Hi again. Mm hmm Do you have any copies of the Parental Eye software? Parental Eye? Yeah, we got plenty of those left. They didn't sell very well. I guess people don't like to spy on their children, but me? I don't judge. Anyway, we got a bunch behind the counter. That'll be $14.99. Do you take debit cards? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Mm-hmm.